The Cuyahoga River Fire of 1969 received the most media coverage for any environmental disaster of its time and was the catalyst for the environmental movement that followed suit. Caused by a spark from a train that ignited the oily surface of the Cuyahoga River, the fire burned over five stories high and lasted approximately half an hour. Costs for immediate cleanup surpassed half of the million dollars. And because it occurred during the environmental renaissance and movements for reform, this fire sparked a desire for change nationwide. In the years that followed, citizens from all across the nation pushed for action to be taken to prevent further tragedies and accidents. Suddenly, people all across the nation were asking about the status of the resources in their backyards, not simply ignoring them. Eventually, actions such as the creation of the Environmental Protection Agency and the amendment of the National Environment Policy Act in 1970 and the Clean Water Act of 1972 were implemented. The newly formed EPA was tasked with enforcing the legislations that were passed to protect the environment. It was largely due to the intensity and publicity of the Cuyahoga River fire coupled with the movements by the people of the United States that the EPA was established at this time. The Clean Water Act of 1972 was also influenced by the fire and in turn helped to provide legal opportunities to clean up the Cuyahoga River, other rivers in similar situations, and prevent further events like this nationwide. Currently, it is protecting our rivers from the dumping of hazardous materials from point source pollution. Following the Cuyahoga River fire of 1969, the environmental movement in the United States gained large amounts of support and in turn fueled long needed change in the ways that we treat the world around us. By creating a platform of opportunities for further environmental progress, this environmental disaster allowed for many more future leaps forward in our relationship with the resources we share and the planet we live on.